Hey everybody, welcome to this month's question of the month. And of course, you can always submit your own question. Go to yoganatomy.com forward slash my question. So the first question is from Gregory Stewart, who says, uh, my question is this, what can be done about a flat back? And by flat back, I mean a lumbar spine that resists rounding. I teach my sore classes, and it's a problem that I see to varying degrees in the rolling in Garbhapindasana, or the rolling up in Ubhaya Parangustasana and Urdhva Mukha Paschimottanasana. Um, when students with flat backs attempt to roll, it's like they go from pelvis to upper back, or vice versa, and totally miss the lower back. And in second series, the problem shows up when students try to jump in Bakasana B, uh, being an unable sorry, being unable to round the lower back, they're often unable to nail the landing of the jump. And students with this issue, however, seem to enjoy a very stable Navasana. So any insight you have on this would be greatly appreciated. I don't even know the name for this problem. We don't need to name it. Uh, I've given cursory looks online for information, but haven't found much that is useful. Uh, it's a really good question, and um, I know exactly what you're talking about because I also teach my sore classes and have seen this a number of times before. Um, my, first, my first suggestion is confirm that it's actually anatomical. In other words, like if the person does a forward bend, does their lower back round at all? Or if you put them into halasana, is their lower back part of that rounding? If it, I if it doesn't in those scenarios that you try to set up that way, then it is anatomical. How do you overcome it? Uh, you know, it's possible, when I'm, and when we say anatomical, it doesn't mean it's 100% skeletal, which, you know, would be harder to change, let's say. But if, if there's a muscular component to it, maybe they have tight back muscles from other activities that they used to do, swimming, that kind of stuff. So anatomical could mean that muscular stuff has to change over a period of time. Um, the other thing to remember is that, you know, technique could be part of it as well. If they're not in touch with that part and they don't have, you know, the connection to being able to round in that way. And I see this a lot in Garbha Pindasana because students have this tendency to open up this way and then close down this way. And if the timing is off, uh, both in Garbha Pindasana actually and Urdhva Mukha Paschimottanasana and Ubhaya Parangustasana, all three of those, if you undo the rounding too soon, then you end up switching from pelvis to upper back, which is what you're seeing. So just look at all of those things and confirm where the problem is. Try to identify it. Um, and a very astute observation, especially for those people who are anatomical in nature, again, could be muscular or skeletal, is that in something like Navasana, because their pelvis is naturally that way and the spine is straight, it's much easier to hold a posture like that. So great question. Um, uh, yeah, that, that wraps that one up. Uh, anybody else, if you have a question, once again, yoganatomy.com forward slash my question, and I'll try to get to it on video.